Many people think of a king in a negative sense. A tyrant, a ruler, someone who looks down on the people. But a real king is a leader. A real king doesn't look down on other people. He raises them up. Alright, so my name is Nari Balkaran. I drive the Nissan S13 RB25 Ford. I would say my passion for cars started in about 2008 um, with my cousins. He had a Datsun 1600 rotary powered and there where I began to see cars and how it works and burn out and that is where the passion really started. So drifting, well, real life drifting, I would say about a week but on the sim, I have about 1,500 hours on the sim. But real life, about a week. For me, the, my biggest influencer would be James Dean. Always wanted to be like him. Always wanted to be driving like him. Ever up to the JZ. But that is my biggest influencer, James Dean. Right, so the specs on the car is a stock RB25 Neo. Um, manifold, turbo, injectors, wastegate. Full suspension rear, all the adjustable arms, front Geomaster, full suspension again, big brakes, 18 by 10.5 rims, dual caliper, wide gearbox, twin disc, fully full works, the full drift works you need. For me, the hardest part of the build was mas myself being impatient. I couldn't wait. I, w I want everything. If I could get it now, I get it now. <laughs> so, what I love most about this car is Everything in this car that put together was done is all me. It's my style, my look, my feel. So this car is me, basically. And that's how that's pretty much what I like about the car. Okay, what I hate most about the car. Honestly, the car again it like me. If it don't get away it won't, it's going to give trouble. So yeah. So for me, when I as soon as I strapped up helmet on and I go out from the gate my mind completely goes blank i don't think i don't even for the split second everything i don't even think but i just want to keep getting better and better and better so i try to focus on driving and for me that is the best feeling being able to drive and and put on where you want to do but so far with the car i haven't faced any problem before track day but up to recent we gained some problems that we trying to figure out as we go along but again it's a freshly new build car so we bound to encounter problems well we could refer back to when i get into motorsports and I see my cousin from the time i see a car spinning and smoke that is all i want to do i don't want to go straight i want to go sideways locally i would like to turn them well with my boy nicholas for sure because with him i could write off his car and he gonna be like all right cool we will fix it internationally um adam seleski a personal friend of mine sports now i would say together we aspire together we achieve honestly we need to stop focusing uh, about beating each other and start thinking outside the box we need to start working together so we could go outside the box go internationally work as a team and eventually we could uplift everything rather than working against each other uh, so basically more sponsors on board is what you could do for your sponsors 
a sponsor is not I. You, you give a man a couple of thousand, no, you give him a pair of tire and that is it. You need a long term relationship with them. Like you need to all right, keep pushing their name, keep pushing their brand, like you go to events. So like let me say your sponsors do tent rentals. You try to, you know, lay a sponsor, get the tent rental for the event. You try to work for your sponsor. Okay, any any day use a sales guy for them. They pushing you, you need to push them. And I think that is basically it. But again, it comes down to attitude and you, the way you, you put yourself out there. You can't have a sponsor and you, you're doing shippingness. You need to have a, a proper way in going about yourself. You need to be professional, you need to get sponsors. It's drifting a waste of money. Yes, it is. It is. Reason being, I mean, everybody is saying you must have a hobby, you must have a sport. But once you get into a drift car, you only want more and more and more and more. And the money only going and going and going. But it is a waste of money. But once you, again, life's short, once you love something, I mean, I, I would say spend your money and enjoy yourself. So for me, I, again, I had the background from 2008 being around cars, being around, again, Nicholas, other professional drivers, I would say. And I, know, I see the drift, I see the thing. But for me, I have the connection with Sim. And I know I could have go out there and put it on. People was like, nah, he can't do it. He going and do this, he going and spin, he going. As soon as I enter that track and the first clutch kick, I know I could have, I could have do it. So if I'm a newcomer, I would say, honestly speaking, if you want to get into drift, you need to, you need to do some research. You just don't go and you see a laurel, you go and buy it and you go do some research, talk to more seasoned people in it before you make a decision maker you could go and make a stupid decision and end up in a money hole so you need to to actually understand where it's drift understand where it's taken from you and take it step by step don't rush it don't be like me don't rush it take your time my plans for the rest of the year is to get more seat time to be able to position the car where i want it to be start to you know push up a little more and hit a podium for sure of course, of course, that is the, that is the goal, your car, and again, you say a car only think inside the box, you need to think outside the box, as again, come back to more seat time, more practice, we could do bigger things. Well, for the fans that I have, I would like to say a big, big thank you, because this is a dream. I actually live in a dream here. This is from a little boy, again, from 2008. This is what I wanted, and to see people actually like and cherish the fact that I did it, it really really heartwarming and feels good to know that oh yeah for sure and it, it will be the for the rest of my life the moment i have is first time i went on the track i remember people saying he going and spin he going and thing i was like all right uh, there we go went out in the track and the first clutch kick i realized whoa this thing feeling correct boy and that was it back any side you think about i could have do it full full hundred um now I, I ain't ready to call out yet because the eye dies on me. I just neutral. Yeah, so shout out for sure is family for sure number one for supporting the bill. And again, my mother didn't even worry at home. Uh, she she was very skeptical, but the support me full hundred friends and big shout out to the sponsors. So when this car was in the build, right, I have I did a lot of work for the sponsors who own the car. And I went to them and was like, hey, I'm going to build a drift car for competition. And each one ran beside a group of companies, bag one, saying Edu's, Brad, Double R, um, Reason, Superior, Toborav, Shiva, Midnight Auto Garage, Extraordinary Designs, Bodram and Sons, um, Idris, um, Auto Clinic, Transport, Mistra, um, Mustafa Engineering, Kemos, my boy. Um, who again, Garage Fresh for sure, biggest help, like my brother, everything I needed he, from him. Um, Unlimited Tires, SSM Marketing, Mata Imports, um, VS Media, it have the full work, South Savers, um, it have TDM, the TDM crew, um, Joshua, Reckon, Color Wizard, the full works, um, Shift Lock, um, FC Media, all these guys, um, TNR, construction they came on board everybody was like yeah we helping it we want to see I achieve that goal it's not it was not about just giving a sponsor they wanted to see I actually achieve the goal and and make it happen make it come to life and that is that is pretty much how this become where it is today